Hi guys. It's me, your old pal, Yozora Hart. Patch 6.2 MSQ. No static shenanigans, no EX trial grinding, none of that. The dungeon and trial are, are over with. This is just vibes and cutscenes. Let's ride the ride. I don't know how long she's going to be that way. Can we unleash a void scent on the source? That sounds like debatable. I suppose Varshan's point is if we just leave her comatose here, something else will come along and eat her. That's fine. Giga Chad Varshan, listen. I will indeed hang on to the crystal of the big leaf. What happened to her? Oh, you know. A former minion, minion of Barbariccia. Voids are not super functionally different from anything else. They're just adapted to an environment with zero ether. I guess part of my contention is we take on good faith that zero is like chill and will work with us but like and sure she'll be under some supervision i'm sure while she's comatose but like if we just drop her in a med bay and rides at han she could wake up and eat several people before someone was able to stop her from doing that we're kind of just trusting her on the she's a cool looking lady principle Which, you know, I understand. Yozora is the warrior of light, but he's got a reputation that might lead people to believe that's not the case. He's not an ether vampire. A deserter? Are you really a deserter if your former boss dies? That doesn't feel fair. Tell us about gold beds. Yeah, I can see why he would hide out. Staves, you say? Interesting. Var Shizzle. Not be able to freely return to the 13th. But I might have wanted to come back here and take G Pose pictures. Aw, uh, no.
Gizor just stepped out of a dark portal like he's an organization member? Ah, you're all safe. Like the sisters. Peace one face guy? His face isn't pleasant. I don't like it. A moment while I close the gate. Close the gate. My brain is feeling like this leg of the MSQ is winding down. And I'm thinking like, man, that was quick. But I'm remembering I've done a solo instance, a dungeon, and a trial. So it's like not short at all. We may rest easy for now. Was there any trouble? I expect some voices. But it feels short. Through. A few did, aye. But we were ready and dealt with them without incident. That is well. Yeah, Hot Boy Varshan is definitely a, a trip. Yes, yes, you're grateful. But aren't you forgetting something more important? Huh? You know, the polite but warm formalities one delights in hearing when their little brother returns from a long journey. Indeed, you are right. <clears throat> it is good to be home again, among those who I love dearly and missed so much. Well, that was sweet. <laughs> and we are glad to receive you, Vashan. Welcome home. Chambers have been prepared for your use at Megaduta. Let us take Zero there at once. My guest chambers. Oh boy. A little nappy. Our mission took many an unexpected turn. The I guest am chambers. I like that we have all returned safely. But before you all enjoy the rest you have earned a dozen times over, I would consult you on one last matter. Zero. I should turn on the auto thing like I have for Persona. Timing it so that these conversations sound normal is hard, actually. While she appears none the worse for wear, she remains locked in slumber, and I cannot help but worry. Is there aught we can do to expedite her recovery? If her ether is exhausted, perhaps I can share some of mine now. The auto thing is still stilted? Damn, In the I can't win for the 13th, One can only replenish ether by taking it from others, be it by trade or by force. In contrast, the source is rich in ambient ether. Ah, so she won't... She was just absorb ether from simply being, being here and drawing breath. Zero will absorb what she needs. That makes sense. Then we need but wait. I believe so. She will awaken in time, and when she does, give her something to eat. Judging by her form, she should also be able to derive nourishment from food. Joe Zero is going to pull Futaba and seek the fight. I know you promised <laughs> literally is. Ether, but perhaps she might appreciate fine harnish cuisine more. Food I was saying, as someone was asking me, kind of like, 
because I clearly like Persona 5 Royal quite a bit. Like, what are the things that make it special as opposed to just a game? And I was pointing out, like, it has the same structure as FF14, where it'll be like, well, that's all the important stuff we got for you. Come back in a few months. But then you play those months like a video game <laughs> instead of just going away. Like, you still have stuff for you to do. Zero said before that Xenos had altered her essence. A change wrought, I suspect, with the That's what happened in Mel, too. It acted upon the part of her that is void sent, rendering it dominant. Thus, we were able to reverse it with the power of light. I labor to believe that Xenos possessed such arcane knowledge. In all likelihood, it came from Fan Daniel. Fan Daniel? Were Zero wholly void sent, I doubt the crystal would have had an effect on her. One might say that Hydaelyn had a hand in your meeting. Thanks, Mom. It is no exaggeration to say that Zero has proven herself invaluable, a boon from Hydaelyn herself. Her cooperation may come at a price, but whatever it is, I am willing to pay it. Exhausting though it may be at times. Oh, you gotta be kidding me. Eh, you know me. I'm good. What do you want? Small task. You wish to have food ready for Zero when she awakens? Oh, I I haven't leveled Culinarian. I, I can't help at all with that, actually. Maybe I do need a new capture card. I don't know. I just don't know. Hello, I'm here to get snacks for a Void Sim. Cooler Alice is what we're calling her. Apples. Just 
she's a whole lady, not a horse. There isn't a character in 14 that Zero isn't cooler than. Okay. Is this an inn? The hat. What happened? How did I get here? There's no time. I must rejoin the battle. I must... You're awake! Wonderful! Bruh. <laughs> Bruh. Nadana is delightful. What is this? Some sort of fiend? A fiend? Where is it? Where? Ugh, but this is no time for jokes. You're in the source, my dear. The world next door. So to speak. The others brought you here after you collapsed. I'll fetch them at once. Wait, just a moment. Definitely a top tier character that was introduced in Endwalker. Madonna's great. Brought you some apples. In case you want to get your fame Uran on. I took the liberty of arranging refreshments. I hope you find them as flavorful as they are invigorating. This isn't what you promised. And I suppose ether is ether. Wait, wait. Don't tell me you don't know how to eat. I took what I needed from it. What's the problem? That's an extremely weird way for you to eat. I, I have the to. the enjoyment in that? You're supposed to bite, to chew, to savor, and then swallow. That's the way. So, did it taste good? I... don't know. What do you mean you don't know? The long years without eating oh, may have done... that's the first thing she's ever tasted. So, she has no concept. Good, bad, who knows? Who can tell? Well, we void scent of no need for such when consuming others. There are some who speak of taste when describing the quality and affinity of their praise ether. But I loathe the act. Taking ether in small amounts like this is one thing. But diluting my essence, diminishing myself, I'd sooner die. You took a perfectly circular bite out of that apple. Countless times. 
You have? Um, but what happens when you do? She comes back. Not much. After a while, you return, together with all your expended life force. The important thing is to die where others won't devour you. Amazing! Estinian is making a wonderful face. He's just trying to process. You can hear the dial-up sound in his brain right now. The question of taste aside, I am glad that you are able to partake of food like us. I dare say it agrees with your personal preferences. That's true. You can keep giving me the same on a regular basis. Very well. As my guest, I shall see that you do not want for comfort. And one other thing. We brought you to our world without your consent. And for that, I apologize. If you wish it, we will return you to yours once you have regained your strength. It's fine. I have no reason to go back. I wouldn't go back. The void sucks. Except for yours, perhaps. You intend to cross over again, I take it. I do. I have yet to find my sister. I want nothing more than to rush to her aid. To find this Kolbez and free her from his he clutches. spit that name out. If Kolbez. He still holds her Hell yeah. Screw that guy. Though if our recent experience has taught us anything, it is that the 13th is more dangerous than we ever imagined. Caution must be our watchword. Better late than never. In the short time you spent in our world, you left a trail of chaos in your wake. You managed to return in one piece this time. But don't assume you'll be so lucky the next. Don't underestimate me. I'm, I'm uh, Rest assured, pretty good. we will make no assumptions and spare no preparation. Speaking of which, while we rest and ready ourselves, I ask that you tell me more about your home. In return, I will tell you about ours. I will show you my domain, Radzat Han. Again, a stranger in this strange land. I have a condition. You must come too. Me? You like hanging out? Is it because I have a black heart tattoo on my face? It's not a tattoo, it's just a little bit of paint. You're a little dude again. Didn't like being a hot boy. I get it. Remember when Yishtola revealed that she can flex healer in our raid static? What a fantastic patch. We look like Sonic heroes right now. Look out down below. 
Jojo is on the go. She is simply made. She knows all of the magic. Couldn't convince me at gunpoint you stole those blue magic. No chance. She doesn't have the patience. Five seconds into talking to that bozo, she would in tap out unquestionably. How long has this been there? Balshan Bazaar. I hesitated because I was just going to say bazaar, but that's like bizarre, which is a different word. Bazaar? Bazaar. B A Z A A R. Who, who comes up with these things? And we're here. You're gonna love the food. Scout's on it. This isn't a heal. Are we going with Meriday? Marid? I like Meriday. Those are dancers. You void some perverse simpler pleasures. Like what? Eating people? If you want to see the bizarre... You are just like a child, aren't you? We were this just there. You could have showed her then, silly. Bum, 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 bum. Incompetent bad guy. Same. A relative of soul, obviously. a bit don't 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 crack jokes on the tombstones you knock it off
High Crucible. How's the rumor getting around so fast? She really said, no thanks, I know how to get food now. Bye. I think I'm, yeah, hold on. Forgot you have to go upstairs. It's my first time. It's crazy, I'm never gonna help that poor fella, and he's always gonna be right there dead. You can't get her scythe? Like it's not in the game at all? Interesting. I wonder if it'll be a thing later or if they'll cash shop it? Surprises me. I'm confident there was a less dumb way for me to get here, but here we are. Yeah, don't diss the mulberry. Hey, this is the little brat kid. If Stinian came to see you, would ask her. You imagine they'll mock station it? They could, they might. I used to rock that haircut. In the old days.
We're teaching Zero how to have friends and to play. No, it's not the same thing. No. Dinos was a sicko and I had to kill him. More or less. Stop it. Exactly. You're not Xenos. You're Xenos adjacent. Now let's move on. That poor child looked devastated. Yeah, you were seeing the world through the eyes of a, a uh, what we call little freak guy, and that is coloring your experience. Gets his workouts, doesn't he? Master Heart. So, what are your impressions of Rad's at hand? Way better food than There's apples. A lot of mortals. Considering your origin, I can see why that might be your first observation. Though they would call each other people, I think. If you wish to know about our fair city, I should be glad to place a guide at your disposal. No need. I'll show myself around. There's only so much about my home I can share with you in return, after all. While I remember some few tales of the past, I cannot speak to their authenticity. But if that is enough... What?
We are all ears. Please. Long ago, light filled the world and all was at peace. But then the servants of darkness came, and they bequeathed a black art unto men. Unto men? Channeling the power of hope and prayer, one could call forth fearsome beings known as Eidolans. Uh-oh. The Asians. And these Eidolans are surely primals. I like Eidolon better than Eidolon, but okay. Then you have faced the same, and understand that when an Eidolon is birthed, strife follows. And in such strife, the weak are the first to suffer. Oh yeah, very, very familiar. When it seemed the world would be plunged into chaos, heroes appeared. They were blessed with a singular power. The power to bind the ether of Eidolans within crystals known as Memoria. Interesting. My mother was one such Memoriate. But in fighting to save many, she herself was touched by darkness. As was I. Oh. And so you were born part Void Scent, before the world was overcome. How exactly did that calamity come to pass? Did the Memoriates not triumph? They did. They expunged the seeds of chaos and restored the peace. Only to find themselves seduced by the darkness they had sealed. They spread the taint, transforming men into monsters, what you call void scent, and raised armies to wage new wars. Not the first to be corrupted by power, nor the last. I like it's Some defied force. temptation and held fast to the light. My mother and I among them. For years and years we fought, but it was not enough. And when our strength was spent, our bulwarks broken. So too was the world. The flood of darkness. The stars faded from the heavens as a pall black as pitch enveloped creation. Darkness raged unchecked, rending the very walls of reality. I was cast into the rift, and there trapped for what felt like an eternity. Until I came upon a crack. Tiny, infinitesimal. That's a fun word. for me to squeeze through. And find my world changed beyond recognition. Into the lightless waste you saw. So that is how you were able to escape becoming a void scent in full. I suppose I should consider myself fortunate. Were I like most others, I wouldn't have lasted a day before being devoured. We, the lost, are better equipped to survive in a lost world. A lost world, you say?
I wouldn't be so sure. The 13th is still there, is it not? What are you getting at? To explain requires that we initiate you into the truth of the Source and its reflections. Be warned that this will take a while. We're not giving up on the 13th? Is that what you still is explaining? This is the source. Here's how shards work. These are Asians. We don't like them anymore, so we genocided them. Then, unlike the worlds that have been rejoined, mine still... Could be saved. The Oracle of Light prevented the first from being completely overcome. So the situation may not be completely identical to that of your 13th. But the fact remains that we were able to restore a measure of balance to a world brought to the brink of destruction. We need an Oracle of Darkness. Gaia, which, you're in. Some Tag. intrepid young souls succeeded in restoring life back to lands thought lost to light. Which gives me cause to hope the day may yet come when life springs forth anew in the 13th. Of course, these are only possibilities. I offer no guarantees. But having experienced what we have, I dare say we are more qualified than most to speak on the matter. Wait, I don't understand. Why would you say these things? As if you mean to... But the sole reason you came to the Void was... To find a dragon, aye. And in light of what we've seen, we'd be fools to strive for more. But we Scions, former Scions, begging your pardon, have a habit of not leaving well enough alone. <laughs> and old habits die hard, don't they, my friend? Restoring the light would serve our efforts to find and free Ashdaya. There is no reason not to try. Do as you will. I have no desire to save that world. Why not? Be that as it may, we will have need of your power when next we face Void Scent. You know how it works. If you want my help, you must pay my price. And now that you've drawn Golbez's attention, it's going to cost you more. A lot more. Okay, greedy pants, we'll feed you. Dang. She's like, this, this, these apples ain't gonna do. Girl, we got pizza, we got kebabs, a whole turkey, salad. You better go nuts.
Udah. Yeah. Saving the Void is actually genuinely a pretty neat direction for the game to consider going in. Especially since we, you know, tried the same for the first. A lot of, you know, recurring theme, especially as we kind of crossed over a hump into Shadowbringers. Of, like, not giving up on anybody. Trying to offer second chances. Trying to do what we can instead of resigning ourselves to fate. You must be tight. You are down half your generals in, like, a day. And now, Barbariccia. Useless, the both of them. Oh, you're burying them. No lie. They conspire with a memorial And their search for the dragon will lead them here. Nigh. We cannot allow these interlopers to interfere. If I may, my lord, I have a plan to eliminate them. In order to guarantee success, however, I will require Kanyatso's cooperation. That's how we're pronouncing that? Well and good to have confidence, but do not forget the cost of failure. Rest assured, I will see the dream to fruition. Even should I be consumed by my own flames, I will pave the way for one and Don't you hate this guy in the work meeting? Like, all right, get out of the boss's ass. I hear you. Then I will trust in your oath and your plan. Gobez rules. I'm glad he's an epic for you. will give you cause to rejoice, my lord. This I vow. Like, you're just like, okay, buddy. We get it. Sheesh. is too great even should my four arch fiends be lost I will not halt my steps the prison of passivity is an obstacle to my cause and so you must fall what Irony that the blessed damned should set us free. What the hell is he talking about? As I swore so long ago, 
Am I dumb? Did I miss something? I feel like I don't understand what the hell he's talking about. Your guess is the next trial is the other two generals together and then the final trial is Golbez. Definitely a pretty reasonable uh, prediction based on what we're seeing now. Old Bezzy would make a hell of a uh, end of expansion trial. The gate lies open. At long last, my ambition shall be fulfilled. MSQ complete. Well, you know what that means. We got other activities because we're only halfway through stream and it's Friday. So I am going to take a quick break. Like two minutes or something like that. Be right back. Right back. 